Hello friends, in this video tutorial, we are going to learn how can we insert or add data into MYSQL table in Laravel 5.8 framework, with file upload using bootstrap modal. In previous part, we have already seen how can we perform, data table server side processing in Laravel 5.8 framework, by using Yajra data tables package. Here we will make Laravel 5.8 single page, CRUD application by using Ajax with data tables and bootstrap modal. Now we have start discussing this part, so this is our Laravel 5.8 framework, so we have go to Ajax index view file. In this file, first we have create button, with type is equal to button, name and id is equal to create button, and in button text we have write create button. By click on this button, bootstrap modal will pop up with blank form for insert data, here we have use bootstrap modal blank skeleton, which you can find online, so here we have not discuss bootstrap modal code. This bootstrap modal sample code, first we have change, this modal id with form modal, after this we have change this modal header title, with text like add new record. In bootstrap body class, First we have write span tag with id is equal to form result, under this tag we will display form validation error or success message. Below this we have write, form tag with method is equal to post, id is equal to sample form, encryption type is equal to multi-part form data, this is for upload profile image. Under this form, first we have write, at the rate CSRF, this is for cross-site request forgery attacks. For enter first name details, here we have write input type is equal to text, name, and ID is equal to first name. Same way for enter last name details, here we have write, input type is equal to text, name, and id is equal to last name. For select profile image, here we have write, input type is equal to file, name and id is equal to image. Here we have create one input type is equal to hidden field, with name, and id is equal to action, under this variable we will store insert or edit operation name will be store. For submit form data, here we have write, input type is equal to, submit, name and id is equal to action button, value is equal to, add. Now we have moved to write jQuery code, so here we have write, dollar with button id create records, with click event, so when we have click on create button, then this block of code will execute. Under this, we have write, dollar with modal id for modal with modal method, and under this we have write show, this code will pop up bootstrap modal on web page. After this we have write, dollar with form id sample form with on method, and under this we have write submit, so when form has been submitted then this block of code will execute. Under this, first we have write event.prevent default method, it will stop to submit form data to server. Below this, we have write, if statement, 
and under condition we have write, dollar with hidden field ID action with value method is equal to add, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have start write ajax request, under this first we have write url option set to, laravel expression, and between this we have write root method. Under this method, we have write, ajax curd dot store method, it will send ajax request to store method of ajax crud controller. In second option, we have write, method and in this option we can define which method of form data sending has been used here, so here we have use post method for send form data. In third option, we have write data, and here we have write new form data object, it will send form data to server, in the set of key and value pair. In fourth option, we have set content type set to false, it has been used when data sent to server. In fifth option, we have set cache option set to false, it will unable to cache requested pages. In sixth option, we have set process data option set to false, for send non-processed data file to server. In seventh option, we have write data type and in this option we can define in which data format we have to receive data from server, so here we define JSON, so it will get data in JSON format. Lastly we have write success callback function, this function has been called if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server, which it can access from data argument. Under this, callback function, we have first write HTML variable is equal to blank value. Now we have write, if statement and under condition we have write, data.error, if any errors data has been received then it will execute if block of code. Under this block we have write HTML variable is equal to, division tag with class is equal to bootstrap alert class with danger. Below this we have write, for loop and under condition we have write, count variable is equal to zero count variable value less than value of data dot errors dot length variable value and count variable value increment by one under this loop we have write html variable and under this variable we have append data like data dot errors with count variable index it will store all validation error under this HTML variable. After this, we have write if statement and under condition we have write, data.success, if any success variable has received from server, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write HTML variable is equal to data dot success, so here success message has been stored under bootstrap alert success class. For clear all form fields, here we have write dollar with form ID sample form with zero index dot reset method, it will clear all form value. After this, we want to refresh data tables data, so here we have write, dollar with table id user table dot data table method, dot ajax dot reload method, it will refresh data table data. Lastly, we want to display error or success message on web page, so here we have write, 
dollar with span tag is form result dot html method and under this we have write html variable it will display success or error message on web page now we have go to store method of ajax crud controller which will received ajax request for insert data request so here first we want to validate form data for this here we have write dollar rules variable is equal to array in first key we have write first name and in value we have write validation rules required same way in second key we have write last name and in value we have write validation rules required and in last key we have write image and in value we have write validation rules like required image and maximum image size 2048 this image key validation rules will check file must be required for submit form data selected file must be an image and image size must be less than equal to 2048 byte here we want to use validator class of laravel framework for this here header side we have write use statement with class name validator after this here we have write dollar error variable is equal to validator class with make method under this method we have write dollar request variable with all method and in second argument we have write dollar rules variable here this make method of validator class will create new instance of validation if there is any validation error occur then it will store under dollar error variable below this we have write if statement and under condition we have write dollar error variable with fails method this condition will be true form data fails any validation rules under this block we have write return statement with response method with json method this json method will transform resource into an http response in the form of json under this method we have write array with key errors with value get from dollar error variable with errors method with all method here it will fetch all validation error and store under errors key which will be sent to ajax request but suppose there is no any form validation error occur then code will continue execute code and here we have write dollar image variable is equal to dollar request variable with file method with file tag name image so here we have store selected file under this dollar image variable now we want to generate new image name so here we have write dollar new name variable is equal to php random function with dollar image variable with get client original extension method this method will return original file extension this code will generate new image name for upload image here we have write dollar image variable with move method this method will move file to a new location under this method we have write public path method this method will return public folder path and under this we have write images folder name in second argument we have write dollar new name this code will upload selected file into images folder of laravel public folder after uploading image now we have moved to insert data into mysql table for this we have write dollar form data variable is equal to array 
with first key first name, with value get from dollar request variable with first name object. In second key, last name with value get from dollar request with last name object, and in third key we have write, image with value get from dollar new name variable, so this way we have store data in dollar form data variable, in array format. Now we have write, curd model class with create method, and under this we have write, dollar form data variable, this method, will insert dollar form data variable data into Ajax CRUDs table. For send response to Ajax request in JSON format, here we have write return statement with response method with JSON method, under this method we have write array, with key success and in value we have write data added successfully. This method will send response to Ajax request in JSON format, this time it will send success response to Ajax request, now we have check output in browser. Friends, first we refresh we web page, after refresh of web page, here we can see new create record button has been created, for create new records and below we can see table data in data tables. Now we have click on create record button, after click on create record button, on web page bootstrap modal has been pop up on web page, and under modal we can see form field with add button. First we want to check validation working or not, so here we have directly click on add button, after click on button, we can see validation error has been appear above the form. So, here form validation has been working properly, now we want to check image validation working or not, so in first name we have enter Ronald and in last name we have enter Darby, and select Excel sheet and click on add button. After click on add button, here we can see error message like selected file must be an image, so here image validation working properly, now we have select profile image. Now we have click on add button, after click on add button, we can see success message above form, and here in data tables also last inserted record start of the page. So, here we have seen how to insert or add records in MYSQL table by using Ajax in Laravel 5.8 framework by using Bootstrap modal, now in next part we will discuss how to edit or update data in Laravel 5.8 by using Ajax. If you have any query or input regarding this video tutorial, Please comment your query or input in comment box, or if you like this video tutorial please share with your friends, or even you can also share on social media also. If you want to get more update regarding our video tutorial, please subscribe our YouTube channel for get more update regarding release of future video. Lastly keep watching our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video tutorial.